Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. The Obama administration's ramping up pressure on Afghan President Hamid Karzai to sign a deal to keep U.S. troops in Afghanistan beyond this year. In a phone call with Karzai Tuesday, Obama said he's ordered the Pentagon to launch new contingency planning for a total withdrawal of U.S. troops by the end of 2014. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney said Karzai's replacement after April elections might sign the deal known as the Bilateral Security Agreement, or BSA. The fact that President Karzai has indicated that it is unlikely he will sign the BSA means that uh, if, if he doesn't sign it, it is uh, at least possible that a, a successor Afghan government might sign it, but that pushes us later into the year. And the longer we go without a signed BSA, the, uh, by necessity, the uh, more narrow in size and ambition the mission for a post-2014 force would be. The remarks come as NATO defense ministers are meeting in Brussels this week to discuss Afghanistan. According to the latest tally from the Associated Press, 2,174 members of the U.S. military have died in Afghanistan as a result of the U.S.-led invasion. A new report from Doctors Without Borders, meanwhile, finds one in four people in Afghanistan have lost a relative or close friend to violence in the last year alone. Afghans currently make up the largest population of refugees in the world, but they are poised to be surpassed by Syrians. According to the United Nations, the number of Syrian refugees could pass 4 million by the end of this year. Lawmakers